from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here on your Monday, August 21st. I'm Caitlin Francis, and here's a look at some of your top stories on your Monday. We begin with breaking news in New Haven. Police are investigating an overnight incident on Winchester Avenue and Lilac Street. You can see on your screen multiple police cruisers blocking off that area. Several evidence markers placed on the ground there as well, and caution tape was stretched across an area for several hours overnight. Police still have not given us information as to what they're investigating, but as soon as we learn any new details we'll bring it to you here on, or on the channel 3 app also following some developing news a man is dead a woman also critically injured after a shooting in new haven pinpoint news tracker shows us exactly where this happened on shelton avenue shortly after the woman reported a domestic dispute that woman told officers about a fight with the father of her children late saturday night just hours later, police were called back to the home for a report of shots fired. The woman and the man, Christopher Garvin, were both shot. Garvin was killed. We're expecting an update from police later today on what led up to that shooting. In West Haven, police are investigating a massive street takeover. Take a look here at the video on your screen. This is from Morgan Lane. Eyewitnesses say they saw hundreds of illegal dirt bikes, ATVs, and cars roll through town just before 6 o'clock. Now, during that takeover, two dirt bikes collided. You can see that photo here. Police arrested two men, Hector Vasquez and Brian De Jesus Melendez. They say De Jesus Melendez had a gun inside his bag. He did resist arrest, causing a police sergeant to injure his shoulder. That officer is being treated at the hospital. In Windsor Locks, a man accused of fleeing the scene of a car crash is in jail awaiting his day in court. Now, police tell us they got calls about a reckless driver, then a crash on Woodland Street. We're told Deshaun Waden ran from the scene of that crash through a ravine and then up a hill before police eventually tracked him down. Police say Waden violated his parole. He's due in court tomorrow morning. City leaders in Los Angeles are warning people to brace for power outages as post-tropical storm Hillary continues moving through California. The storm has already sent an avalanche of mud and debris through the town of Wrightwood that's 70 miles northeast of L.A. While residents were dealing with the storm, they were also hit with a 5.1 earthquake. No significant damage from that quake has been reported. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will be in Maui today surveying the damage from deadly wildfires there. During their visit, the president will stress that the federal government will be there to help after so many residents lost everything. As of last night, more than 1,000 people are still unaccounted for and at least 114 people have died. Early estimates from financial experts show the wildfires have caused more than $1 billion worth of damage to Hawaii. Happening today in Hartford, the state insurance department will host an open meeting to discuss proposed rate increases. Those increases would apply to people on state health, health insurance, and some companies are proposing double-digit rate increases. The public is urged to attend either in person or virtually. That all starts at 9 o'clock this morning inside the legislative offices. And a warning this morning to parents, if you're an Amazon shopper, back to school shopping just got a little bit more difficult. According to Fake Spot, about 42% of Amazon reviews, well, they're fake. So today, Senator Blumenthal will urge Amazon to take action. The senator will speak at 1030 in Hartford. Scott? Well, what's not fake is the moisture in California. They are dealing with a deluge there. Six inches of rain in about a day and a half. That's an entire year worth of rain and again a day and a half so keep a good thought for them the moisture plume though proposed uh, tropical storm hillary you can see it there changing over is way up in parts of uh, northern california now but there are still moisture plumes over arizona they're starting to sweep into california so they're not quite out of the woods yet okay now for us we're watching the the uh, atlantic basin you've got franklin you've got gert you've got emily let's take a look at the uh, spaghetti plots dictates where these storms basically gert falls apart and uh, emily stays out to sea but franklin gets a little here's connecticut it's a little close according to some of the model runs by next week so we'll certainly keep you posted on that uh no threat 
to uh, the continental United States at this time. All right, our Doppler scans to stay dry. Good morning, everybody. Our satellite and radar, a little bit of cloud coverage out there, making for a beautiful sunrise this morning. This is all in association with a cold front that's bearing down on the state, and that cold front does mean business. It's going to be a hot and humid day today. But by tonight, we're talking about refreshing, lower humidity and comfortable temperatures. Nice night tonight coming up. 68 degrees right now in New Haven. That's well above the average of 61, 62. 67 right now in Hartford. Mixture of sun and clouds. More clouds than anything else out there in Mystic. The temperatures as you walk out the door. Dress in your lightweight, light-colored clothing today. Summer-like, as uh, we're expecting a pretty warm day of weather. The winds are calm. They'll pick up tomorrow, those winds. It'll be a breezy day tomorrow. Now, the the dew points are in the upper 50s, low 60s, generally in the lower 60s, so it is a bit muggy, and those numbers will be rising today. So it's a muggy day today, but look at this. Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, the humidity really comes down with some refreshing weather for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, it uh, spikes, and then Saturday and Sunday it comes down a bit, but uh, not completely out of the woods of humidity for the upcoming weekend. In the meantime, today, daytime highs, 85, possibly 86, 87 for Bradley. More of the same for the immediate shoreline, although a degree or two cooler with a mixture of sun and clouds. And here's early warning future cast tomorrow's weather today, hour by hour. 12 o'clock, we're good. 1 o'clock, we're good. 2 o'clock, you start to see a little blip, a little green there. And then watch what happens right around 5 o'clock. A couple of green dots pass on through. And then tonight we clear things out, and tomorrow is a lovely day. Daytime highs today, climb into the mid-80s, more clouds than sun. Humid day with a chance for an afternoon shower, maybe a pop-up thunderstorm. Isolated in nature, most towns stay dry. Tonight, mostly to partly cloudy, a cooler night tonight. Open up the windows, let some fresh air in. And then your seven-day forecast includes 80 tomorrow, 78 on Wednesday. How lovely is thy dwelling place. Thursday 81, a chance for some rain Friday morning, Friday afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy and Saturday and Sunday, not a washout by any means, but we are calling for a chance for a passing shower, a thunderstorm, both Saturday and Sunday. That is subject to change as we are only at Monday. So we'll certainly keep you posted. That's check of your early warning forecast. Kate, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Scott. And thank you so much for tuning in here to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.